I know I'm taking way too much video, <laughs> but, but look at that. Isn't that just outstanding? This is just kind of, I'm just hiking along here and look, the trail has uh, gotten a lot easier now than it was uh, going through the, uh, the the tundra back there, if that's what I want to call it that. Um, but I tell you, this is, uh, this is gorgeous. And boy, if you, like I said, if you're a backpacker, you could pull up anywhere in here and just uh, set up a tent. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind doing it someday. I, right now, my shtick is uh, hiking. You know, a lot of people, uh, and you know, just to show you how I fortified that, you know, I got all the camping gear. Before my wife divorced me, you know, I made sure that I had the uh, Toyota Prius Prime so that I can strike out. You know, I saw today it's a dollar three fifty a gallon now. Told you Biden's going to get them prices up to six dollars a gallon, no doubt about it. Um, so I, I'm prepared for that. Most of the most of the way here, I was on uh, completely electrical power, uh, and then I was only getting uh, eighty five miles to the gallon. So uh, you know, so like I said, this is about an hour from my house, or or an hour from the northern part of the villages. If you're a, a village person watching, you know, Central Florida, uh, watching this video, and I showed you a better route to go. I mean, like the last time I came here. I came down 35 and then made a, um, a right turn on 314A. Uh, like I said, I, I, well, not 314, on 314, excuse me. Um, so, but this time I came down uh, four, what was it, 464C and then hit uh, 314A. And, and that way you avoid all the stoplights. Uh, beautiful drive, man. Even if you just wanted to just get a drive in the country. But look at this. Holy moly. That's, uh, that's just insane. This is an insanely beautiful trail. No wonder uh, it came highly recommended. Well, let's just keep on going. I'm I know, like I said, I'm making too much video, but you don't want to get this on the video, you know. So you see what I'm seeing. So here you go, you got a log across the trail right here. Um, that's why I said the trail crews have, really haven't been back here. Um, but, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to do this in the summertime. That's for dog, I'm sure. All right. Okay, so we've come to Another fork in the trail, SR-19, it is an SR. Uh, it says sinkhole to the left, and SR-19, you know, that way, okay, well, that's where we just came from. And uh, I don't know what FNST would be. Um, now, normally I was just gonna stay straight today, but I'm gonna make the right here and, and try to, well, I guess, see, that's the thing, do you go left? Or do you go right to get to the sinkhole? I don't know. I mean, they got an arrow going both ways. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take this. Oh, here we go. It's a sinkhole straight ahead. All right. So I'm going to make a right here. I hope I don't get lost back here. I tell you, you could do I mean, see how many twists and turns? That's what I was talking about with this trail. You know, you could hike around back here for, you know, uh, days and days. And, uh, and so all I got to do is remember that I made a right. And all I did was come straight to that, that post, and I'm hoping we'll get to see the sinkhole, and at that point I'll probably have to turn around today. I'm a good uh, hour and a half or two hours into the hike, um, so I gotta, I gotta hike, that's the, that, you know, I hate that. I, you know, if you got a loop, it's always nice, but you know, at some point I have to turn around and hike back. But we'll be back, man. This is, uh, this is just an incredible, incredible trail. Probably one of the prettiest uh, that I've seen and uh, hopefully we'll get the sinkhole on the video. Um, and, uh, you know, this is, this is a nice, easy hike through here. Uh, and like I said, if you're tall or fat or... <laughs> you, there was a lot of stuff I went through that uh, it was a pretty, uh, pretty tight trail back there. Uh, this, is, this is not. This is, this is easy hiking here. Um, so, but yeah, and definitely you want long pants on. I would not wear shorts. Uh, you might even want a long sleeve shirt, but I haven't had anything brush up against my arms for the most part But I'm a I'm a short fat old person. So all right, so look at here See and that, that's and that's another thing. I like uh, they got the trail's pretty well marked There's a yellow marker on that tree. So let's let's get to the sinkhole. That'll be the next video Well, I'm glad they got this uh, I guess this is the sinkhole off to the left uh, I don't know what fr for F FNST FR46. Uh, now SR14 is back this way. That's a different trail that I hiked out on, and it, it's telling me that I can get back to SR19. Um, so I'm going to take a different trail going back. Hope I don't get lost. 
And I, the, the crazy thing here is you've got you've got this going this way and like I said I you could hike around back here and then you've got Jody's Trace SR19 going that way man I don't know and look how tight that is you can see that you're gonna be brushing up against uh I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it if I get lost uh, I'll be spending the night out here I got got everything I need but let's take a look I guess this is the sinkhole check it out Woo, I'm <laughs> well I guess we can go down a little ways here <clears throat> let's get down here man boy you wouldn't want to fall down there would you <laughs> looks like people have been down there though so this is I guess this is the sinkhole look at that tree right there isn't that cool wow all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this uh, this trail up here. It says SR19 that way, and we'll head on back. And uh, like I said, we'll be back out here. Uh, I, I got to get here a lot earlier than uh, than what I did today. Um, this is where we just came from, right here. So that's uh, FN. I don't know what FNST FR46 means. Um, and then it says SR19 left or straight ahead or left. So we're gonna try this Jody's Trace. To SR19, you can see how tight the uh, the trail is. Uh, maybe someday we'll come back and hike hike that. Boy, I tell you, you could you could spend just days and days and days back here. Uh, it's uh, well, you know, this is just a, well, like I said, it's an hour's drive at 85 miles to the gallon. Uh, three dollars, three fifty cent, three fifty a gallon. Now, like, you know, this doesn't hardly even look like a trail, does it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just following where that post told me to go. See, there's a, there's a yellow marker on the tree, so we're on some sort of a trail. Hopefully this will get me back to the car, because I got a headlamp in the... Uh, that was another thing I forgot in my packing list uh, to tell you about. I put a headlamp in my backpack, so I can, I can hike at night if I have to. Uh, let's just keep going. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> I, you know, this is this is supposedly a trail. I, I, I haven't hiked a trail like this in quite some time. I mean, you could you could bump up against a snake, no problem on this trail. I mean, this is something else. I, right? this is a tight hike, uh, even tighter than the one coming out. I just hope. Uh, well, the sun's behind me, so I am definitely heading uh, east. So this should be taking me back to the car. Um, but you 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 could definitely get uh, get injured or. Uh, or hurt back here. Here's another log across the trail. Um, you know, hopefully some trail crews will come back and cut some of this stuff. Uh, you, like I said, long pants, uh, long sleeve shirt. I would recommend it for this trail anyway, not the other one. And uh, let's just keep going. So the sun is more or less to my right and in the west. So I'm heading basically southeast. And then I came to this. We'll look at the, the sign. This is number three. I have no idea what that means. Now I do have a compass in the uh, the backpack, um, so I guess you could go this way, which is which is almost due well east northeast kind of. But I'm going to continue going uh, this way. Well, I was going to tell you I'm not seeing any footprints, but that's not true. I actually there have been people that have hiked this uh, shockingly because uh, this is uh, this would be a this would be a tough hike uh, for for most people um so but uh it's not like that other trail though there's not many footprints through here uh let's just hope we're heading well i know i'm heading more or less east at this point um southeast uh, i'm assuming that this might be that trail that went off to the right when we first got in here um and so at least we will have knocked out a loop uh we'll see what happens Oh, check this out. Look at that dead tree right there. Isn't that cool? And see the control burns. Hey, California, look at there. Look at there. We actually do control burns here in Florida. Uh, imagine that. All right, so let's keep going. Thought I'd get this uh, cool tree on the video. And uh, man, I tell you, <laughs> sometimes you wonder if you're on the trail. I mean, you know, this is, uh, you know, it's, it's a different look anyway. I just wanted to make a little more video here. Um, I like it. Uh, it's uh, definitely in need of maintenance, you know. And you could—that's why I brought everything that I brought. Uh, the sleeping bag, uh, you know, everything. You could get lost back here very, very easily. Hell, I might be lost right now, for all I know. <laughs> but I got the sun to the right of me, so I know that I'm heading uh, 
heading to well, south, uh, southeast uh, for the most part. Uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, the trails, you can see what it's doing. It's just kind of, oh, you got to break out every now and then, and then you get back tight here. Now, the main thing is to keep your eye on the ground because uh, at this point, uh, I'm more worried about snakes than I am anything else because it's just, it's so tight. You know, if they're off to the side and you don't see them before you get to them, you could very easily get bit. Uh, so that's uh, that's my concern. That's why I got my eyes glued to the ground at this point. I haven't, not a single spider web. That's good. <laughs> but uh, you see what's uh, what's happening here? Uh, you know, because those, those snakes, um, especially the uh, rattlers, they're kind of a brown color and they blend in very, very well with these pine needles. Um, so, you know, they're, they're, they're tough to see. So I'm just, I'm moving slow at this point. Um, which means it's going to take a long time to get back to the car because I got to keep I got to keep my eyes peeled. Uh, this, you know, you, you you get bit, you're screwed, man. You're just screwed. And see, there's a yellow marker, so we look good. But at least we know we're on the trail. <laughs> if you can call this a trail, <laughs> this is something else, man. So I've come up to another post. Uh, I guess it used to be a post. Um, so, you know, another thing, you know, to think about on this trail, I mean, you know, if there was a bear, <laughs> you would, you, oh, there's a bird. I saw a bird. What do you know? It looks like another post, I suppose. Uh, they have had yellow markers on the trees. Uh, so I am still on the trail, uh, which is good. And uh, like I said, I'm moving nice and slow, keeping an eye out for uh, a, a brown snake. Uh, you know the black, uh, the black racers and those. I'm not. I don't. I love snakes, by the way. I, but I just don't want to get bit by one. That's for dog. I'm sure. And I tell you, I have walked right up on those uh, brown rattlers. They blend in real well with the with the ground. But I, I see, looks like it's kind of opening up here just a little bit. Um, so this might mean that I'm getting back to where this trail crosses the other trail. There's see. There's another yellow marker on the tree. Um, so even though. It's in need of maintenance. Um, this trail is well marked. You're not going to get lost, uh, or you know, I guess it. You know, and we'll, when we get back to the post, I'm going to point out where we where we did today, and what we have left uh, to to hike up here, because you can see we're going to be back here many times. Um, so here I'm coming up on something. <laughs> Good thing I had the video running. What the hell is that? So this is a two, and you got a yellow marker on the tree. Why is there a concrete pool here in, in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Now, there's supposed to be a cemetery out here somewhere. Let's get a look at this thing. I wonder how deep that goes. Let's see. That's, that's not too deep. All right, so let's just keep going. Good, good thing I had the video running, huh? That's that. That would be something I would have cut on for. Uh, it's that it, I can move. I can make some uh, time now, so I'm going to be moving along at a faster pace because uh, you know here I can see well in front of me uh, if there's anything that I need to be on the lookout for. Like I said, another yellow mark on the tree, which is good. Uh, so anyway, here's just a look at the forest, so you can see what I'm seeing. Absolutely gorgeous hike. Absolutely gorgeous. Have a different look here. <clears throat> uh, you can see the yellow mark on the tree. So uh, that's the sun. Is, actually, I'm kind of heading southwest almost uh, at this point, which is taking me away from the car. But I can't believe that this don't loop back to the other trail. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to the um, the, the Canadian truckers. Uh, I'm so proud of you guys. Uh, man, makes me want to cry. I heard the uh, <clears throat> on the radio the farmers have joined the um, the convoy and uh, they're just going right around the roadblocks. Uh, Trudeau is in hiding. How the hell did a tool like Trudeau get elected in Canada? I, that's the thing I can't figure out. I mean, as much as I'm proud of the truckers and the and the people of Canada for for standing up for themselves, my question to them would be, how the hell did you elect Trudeau in the first place? The guy's a tool, man. I mean, <laughs> well, I guess you could say the same about Biden, you know. <laughs> How the hell did Biden get elected? Uh, a lot of stupid people here in both countries. Uh, but at least, uh, and I heard there's going to be a convoy here in the United States uh, against um, uh, mandates. Um, and by the way, there was a, 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 
a, a, a study that came out of Hopkins and uh, they said that the uh, the, the lockdowns uh, were completely uh, ineffective at like 0 0.2 percent uh, effective back in back when all this began that the lockdowns were just just stupidity at, at its best and everybody knew that but uh, except the Democrats <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Democrats, they just keep going along with the government, man. Yeah, you bow down before the one you serve, because you're going to get what you deserve. Uh, I'm not trying to get political on here. I, I'm sorry. But I'm just so proud of the Canadian truckers, and I just wanted to give a shout out to them. And I hope they get rid of Trudeau. Um, I don't, you know, I don't even know. I guess Trudeau would have to resign. But uh, you'd seem like... Um, People in the Canadian government would say, look, Trudeau, you need to step aside. You know, the people have spoken. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion. All right.